It's a fairly tricky bounds question, this one, um, and the sort of question that we would expect to see near the end of the higher GCSE paper. So bounds is essentially when numbers have been rounded by someone else. We don't know what the original numbers were, but we're going to say, right, here's the biggest and the smallest they could have been. And we're going to work off those values. So here we can see that V equals the square root of A divided by B. We know that A is 6.43, correct to two decimal places. So someone has rounded that and they've rounded it to two decimal places. And that's the same as rounding it to the nearest 0 0.01. Now, if it's been rounded to the nearest 0 0.01, we half that number. And that is 0 0.005. Think of that as 0 0.010, and then that makes sense that half of that is 0 0.005. And we put that above and below, and that gives us the upper and the lower bound. So let's just do two lines coming off of there. The biggest it could have been before is 6.435, and the smallest it could have been is 6.425. Now I know that technically, it can't be this, because if it was 6.435, it would round up to 6.44. But because we can go so infinitely close to it, for example, you could have 6.43499999, and that is so close that we just use this as the upper bound. Okay, so that's why that is that. There are upper and lower bounds for A. And then for B, we're going to do exactly the same thing. This one's been rounded to the nearest 0 0.001 because it's been rounded to three decimal places. And half of that is 0 0.0005. So 5.5145 above and 5.5135 below. If in doubt, put a five on the end. That's probably going to be the upper one, but that's how you properly do it. OK, by considering bounds, work out the value of V to a suitable degree of accuracy. So sometimes they ask you to make V as big as you can, and sometimes they ask you to make it as small as you can. In the case where they say by considering bounds, we're going to need to do both. So I'm going to do V upper. And I'm going to do V lower. And we're going to consider both answers. Okay, so V is the square root of A divided by B. Now, when you've got a bounds question and you're timesing, if it was A times B, for example, AB, then if we wanted the biggest answer, we would use the biggest A and the biggest B because timesing them together would get an even bigger number. And same, if you wanted the smallest answers, then you would do the smallest and the smallest, and that would give you the smallest V. Here, because we're dividing, if you think about a cake, if you've got a big uh, cake and you share it with two people, then you're going to get quite a lot of cake. If you share it with um, eight people, then you're going to get less cake. So with a fraction, if we want to make our answer as big as possible, then we want to do V equals the square root, we can't change that bit, A as big as possible, divided by B as small as possible, and that's going to make V as big as possible. And likewise, when we do V lower, to get the smallest V, we're going to do the square root of the smallest A divided by the biggest B. And that's just because we're dividing that that happens, okay? So then V upper, let's do a little U there so we know that it's V upper, is the square root of 6.435, because that's the biggest we can make A, divided by 5.5135, because that's the smallest we can make B. And same with V lower. So we're going to have V lower equals uh, the square root of 6.425 divided by 5.5145, because that's the biggest we can make that. Now, typing that in my calculator, so square root and then fraction button, 6.435 over 5.5135, and that gives me an answer of 1.08034023. Really important at this stage that you write them all out, um, and then I'm just going to change that to be the uh, lower bound calculation. So just putting in that calculation on the right, 6.425 over 5.5145, and that is 1.0. 079402 and so on. Okay, now looking at both, it says by considering bounds, we need to give an answer for V 
to a suitable degree of accuracy. So we could say they're both one because they both round to one, both these answers. They both round to 1.1 as well. Now, if we're checking, I want to go as far down this number as I can, but still I want them to round to the same number. So if we do two decimal places, for example, this number rounds to 1.08 and this number rounds to 1.08 because the 9 would round that up. However, if I go to any more decimal places, then the answers are going to be different. So we're going to say that our answer is 1.08 because they both round to this um, with two decimal places. Oh, great. And that would be our answer. That's a five mark question. Uh, so that's how we would do bounds. Thank you.